morning from sunny Thailand. I'm a catch you up. Um, a few months ago, I noticed that the girl that I practice yoga with online was running a retreat in Thailand in October. And I thought to myself, there is no way I could do that. Is there? I thought I was crazy. I wanted to do it alone. So I looked into it. I had the finances to do it. I sourced cheap flights. And here I am. I'm in Chiang Mai, which is also, I believe, the like vegan capital of Thailand. So I thought that was a bit of a sign. Side note, this is what 24 hours of plane does to me. So I arrived here yesterday at about 12 midday. Um, luckily my room was ready because I was exhausted. So I got to my room and then I was like, there is no point in going to sleep. I'm gonna try and struggle on through the rest of the day. So I went out exploring. It's super humid here, which didn't help my tiredness. And I went and I got a delicious smoothie. By the way, smoothie bars here are amazing. And it's like a euro for a smoothie, incredible. Um, I went to see a couple of the temples yesterday as well. And then I started to fade fast. So I came back here to the hotel, crashed and burned. Fell asleep at three, woke up at half 10 last night. Not ideal. So I ended up tidying up my room for like four hours. Um, and I ended up going back to sleep then at about 4 a.m. And it's now 10 past eight in the morning. So not the best. I have some plans for today. I've done out a bit of an itinerary for the few days. I actually came to Chiang Mai a few days early so that number one, I could get on to Thai time because I knew I'd be jet lagged. I always get super jet lagged. And number two, so I could see the sights and stuff myself before heading on the retreat, which is actually like a 20 minute drive away. I packed super light for this trip. Actually, I'm gonna show you everything that I brought. It's my liquids bag, hand sanitizer, lip balm, toothpaste, etc. My headphones. This was, which was a massive waste of space. I got this on Amazon, gets amazing reviews, but it's shit in my opinion. My water bottle because the environment. Two pairs of shoes, one runners, one kind of flip flop sandal. This bag, which I always keep my dirty clothes in and those are my airplane clothes. My beauty products bag, which is very sparse. By the way, I brought no makeup or fake tan with me. <gasps> I know, I know, I know. So I have my moon cup, because I'm gonna get my period in a few days. Some sunscreen, which is not cruelty free, but I'm trying to get, use it up. My eye glow lash serum, tweezers, two pairs apparently, don't know why. Eyelash curlers, add this for getting rid of fuzzies, and some hair stuff. I brought one cardigan and one shawl, to be respectful. I brought a book for journaling, because they said to for the retreat, and one mismatched bikini and a hairbrush. These are my big knickers for said period. These are my little knickers for everything else. I brought 14 pairs of knickers all together. And in here I have my sunscreens. I have some I'm trying to use up because there's only some dregs left in the bottle. This is an Aldi one, SPF 30. And this is a Calypso SPF 20 once a day. There's literally not much left in those two. And then P20 sent me out, well the PR for P20. If you're watching Kim, thanks a million. Uh, sent me out this because I mentioned at an event that I was actually heading on this and she copped it and sent me the, this, which I thought was so, so helpful. So thanks a million, I'm gonna give that a go. Um, body oil from the body shop, uh, I thought it was apt. I brought this with me, but I probably needn't have because it's so humid, uh, my skin doesn't really need it. And my Holy Grail Dr. Ayushka body cream, which is like my hand lotion, my body cream, everything. So that's kind of my body care. Sports bras, socks, um, my hand luggage, which is also what I'm gonna be using kind of as a handbag when I'm out and about. Uh, more sports bras. I brought some pants, like yoga pants, uh, shorts, and then like these hippie pants, which I wore yesterday. My electronics bag, so uh, my camera charger, extra phone charger, my lock, and I had uh, an adapter which is plugged in at the wall. And these are my tops. I just realized I only brought five tops. So not ideal, I'm probably gonna have to do a wash, but that's it. So that's basically everything I brought in my big bag. I also brought a book, Shantaram. It's meant to be one of the best books ever written. Started last night, it's quite good. And my laptop and my phone, I obviously brought those as well. I brought a rain jacket because it is rain season here at the moment. And I'm going to show you what's in my bathroom as well. So I brought a charcoal mask because I knew my skin would freak out, which it did. Toothbrush and toothpaste, the Beverly Hills Gentle Whitening. My moisturizer, my Environ ABST 5. And lastly, 
I brought my deodorant, which is the Pit Rock Crystal, my shampoo, Decanted, and clarifying conditioner, which is really, really nice and all natural, and my puff. And I literally think that is everything that I brought with me. Yeah. My big bag weighed like 6.5 kilos and my hand luggage weighed 7 kilos, so that'll give you an idea. Oh, and I brought my yoga mat. I forgot to mention that. So I'm going to get dressed now because I literally have an itinerary of stuff to do. So this is what I'm wearing. Basic yoga pants and a vest top. And I'm off. On my way to the yoga class, I brought my own mat. Figured me as well. I don't want someone else's. Ah, we won't talk about that. Very humid today. If you have dry skin, your skin's gonna love it here. Um, but yeah, I stick out like a sore thumb. So fab though. All right, I think I'm nearly here. I'm sweating buckets, so this is gonna be like a hot yoga class if it's not air conditioned. But sure, we'll see. It's a hatha yoga, so it's quite simple. It's just stretches more than being athletic. Um, I don't feel unsafe here at all. I'm walking down back alleyways and stuff when it's. Now, a couple of builders there were shaking their head at me, so I don't know, are they insulted by my shoulders? I don't know. Oh well, there's loads of laundry places, which is good. I might, at the last minute, get some laundry done. Um, I think I'm nearly here. I'm here, it's called Freedom Yoga. It's in this really cute little building. Yeah, cool. I'm just taking some clips for. Is that okay? Yeah, cool. Challenging, but well, I think the heat is what really made it really hard. So I'm sitting down after ordering a smoothie, so it's a really nice place. So I planned on visiting that temple, but to be honest, I don't really want to show up for my cookery class, all clammy and disgusting. So I'm actually going to go back to my hotel, have a shower chill out for half an hour, maybe take a nap. Maybe not, but maybe, but probably. <laughs> and then head on to my cookery class, which I'm actually really looking forward to now. But I'm also a little bit nervous. All this traveling solo is kind of outside my comfort zone, but they say that's where amazing things happen. So that's what I'm testing the theory of. So walking through the side streets back to my hotel, um, the yoga class. Parts of it were challenging. She had us going to crow pose and I was like, girl, I've only been doing this for a few months. I've actually been practicing yoga at home since around shortly before Christmas, fairly regularly, maybe five, six times a week. That class now was 90 minutes long, which was long. I've, I'd only ever really do 40 to 45 minutes at home. But yeah, it's a good job I have my sun cream on. It's pretty sunny now. The weather forecast said it was going to be piss and rain for the entire duration of my trip but I haven't seen any rain yet not good so this is the hotel I'm staying in it's the Golden Bell Hotel quite nice modern staff are so friendly it's located along here and just inside that wall there is the main Chiang Mai so you're just outside the center so this is reception hi That's where breakfast is and food, which is served until 8 o'clock. There's a lovely little pool here, which I might take a dip in at some stage, because it's very hot. I was just asked if I'm a movie star. Oh my god, I've always wanted this! <laughs> and they've done turn down. That's obviously an elephant. Another elephant. And a seal or something. I love this. Um, 
If you leave that on your bed, they won't change your sheets, which obviously I did, because I mean, I'm not a filthy animal. Oh, I need to have a shower so badly. Am I the only one who makes a mess inside hotel showers? Alrighty, back out and about. Side note, is there anything like the frustration of trying to put on a sports bra, knickers, leggings, when you're clammy and sweaty and just have to get in the shower and still clammy and sweaty? I don't think there is. Uh, so I should be at this place like bang on time. Here's me thinking I'd have loads of time today. But I don't. I'm going on the way to this like vegan vegetarian cookery class. I think it's like all vegan, but if you want to make something vegetarian, they'll let you. And it's actually attached to a restaurant. It's called Make Hades. Lads, it's so warm. I don't know actually, is it that warm or is it that it's humid? No, it's pretty warm. I think it's about 30 degrees. Whew, any hotter now and I'd be definitely getting transport everywhere. Also, I've noticed there's a lot of dental clinics here and they're super cheap. I saw earlier they'll uh, do a tooth filling for the equivalent of like eight euro. I was nearly thinking of getting my mercury ones taken out and then composite ones put in, but I don't know. I don't know. I think I'm nearly here. It should be on this street somewhere. By the way, there's massage places absolutely everywhere. Here it is, May Katie's. I think the cookery school is probably in here. Guess what? Oh my god, look off. I've just arrived to be told it's just me getting the lesson. And she was like, she looked like I might be disappointed. Uh, hell no. Not disappointed. Delighted. And we're going to make 10 dishes. Soups, curries, uh, dessert, appetizer, spring rolls, everything. But like, look at all the fabulous ingredients. So good. Tofu, vegetables, vegetables, garlic, lime, soy sauce, sugar, carrot and garlic, is it? Yeah. Red chilies? Red chilies. Ginger, lemongrass? Yes. Coconut milk? Yes. Olive oil? No, soybean oil. Soybean oil. And this is my teacher for the day, Nim. Say hello to YouTube. Hello. <laughs> we'll see how we do. Nim is a really good teacher, so fingers crossed I'm able to make these things. I just made the, what's it called, red chilli paste. Om yam chilli paste. Om yam chilli paste, which is gonna go into the tom yam soup, which we've just started. This is so much fun. I can't believe how much fun it is. And this is actually the owner. I didn't realize the name is the owner of May Katie's. So, so young. So young and like an entrepreneur, I love it. Look what I just made, and I just tasted it, and it is like lit, literally delicious. I can't wait to cook this when I'm home. I literally cannot eat anymore. I'm gonna pop in some pictures here of the stuff I made today. It was such a good experience. May Katie's, if you want a really good vegetarian or vegan cooking class here in Chiang Mai, highly, thoroughly, amazingly recommend. But I'm so full right now. I literally have a pain in my tummy and we still have to do dessert. I'm sure I'll find space, but I'll suffer later. Hey, so I am back in my hotel room, supping on this complimentary the fuck? Longan juice? Not gonna lie, it's pretty vile, but I'm still gonna drink it because after all that food I just ate, whew, I ate far too much today. There's no denying it. Um, I had planned to go see one of the temples at night time, but honestly nature called and I had to waddle the whole way back to the hotel and then like run to the room, it was very dramatic. But yeah, pretty successful day. Really happy with how today went. Tomorrow's gonna be even more exciting. Can't wait to share that with you. It's currently like half six, but I have to edit this video and get to bed nice and early because tomorrow's gonna be an early one. And I'm gonna chug a load of water as well because I am seriously bloated. Me and spices don't seem to get along. Me and a lot of things don't seem to get along. But anyway, I'm gonna edit this video. And I'll see you in tomorrow's. Bye.